Hi Tigers fans, I'm here to talk about some really great original artwork, watercolor paintings that show the evolution of the Auburn Tigers football uniform from their early years in the 1890s right up to the present era. And I'm going to show you this artwork in a lot greater detail in just a moment, but let me kind of paint a, a slightly bigger picture if you don't mind. Um, uh, this artwork would really make a great gift, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, wedding anniversary, um, your birthday gift, a, a retirement gift, or it doesn't even need to be a gift. Somebody could just be a great Auburn Tigers fan, and this artwork would really look beautiful framed in somebody's home or in their office. Um, let me give you a little background, and then I promise we'll get into the artwork. My name is Scott Silcox, and I'm from Toronto. For 16 years, I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions, and maybe you know us Canadians, we use the word Maple Leaf on just about everything we do. Um, and we made and sold a whole variety of products that celebrated the history of team uniforms. Not only NCAA college football uniforms, but NFL uniforms, Major League Baseball uniforms, and NHL uniforms. And we used the artwork, and, and I'm going to talk about the NFL, Major League, and Baseball uh, NFL, Major League Baseball, and NHL just for a moment, and then NCAA artwork. But we use the NFL and baseball and hockey artwork on a variety of products. So let me just show you them quickly. Um, you know, we use them on plaque posters that use the artwork to celebrate the evolution of a team's uniform. In addition to plaque posters, we also use the artwork for framed posters. These are just a couple samples. We did. Oh, hundreds of different shapes and sizes of frame pieces, but here's just a couple, again, that use the, the great artwork to celebrate the history of a team's uniform. In addition to plaque and framed posters, we also uh, use the NFL and baseball and hockey uh, artwork on clocks, on coffee mugs, um, on fridge magnets, um, on a little product called a fan frame, again, that traced the evolution of the uniform. We use the artwork on playing cards, kind of ace, king, queen, jack, ten playing cards. Oh, and mouse pads and collector plates and a number of other things. In the case of the NCAA artwork, it's newer artwork. And we've only just kind of begun launching the products. And the two products that we've got um, for the Tigers and, and other teams, but for the Tigers specifically, forgive me that I'm showing you Oklahoma and Georgia products, but, but I know we've done them for the Tigers as well. Um, we've done a framed poster that, uh, in kind of a rectangular, almost a square format like this, and then we've done a set of fridge magnets. In the future, yes, there'll be all sorts of other products, presumably coffee mugs and uh, clocks and playing cards and plaque posters and on and on, but at the moment, the artwork is, is relatively new and it's just been used on these two products. So just to kind of put that in perspective. My point is that this artwork that I'm about to show you, you know, already is somewhat famous artwork, and in the future it will be more famous because it will be seen on even more products. But thus far it's been seen on thousands of products that have been sold across North America to Tigers fans. Um, now, okay, let's get into the artwork. And as I'm showing you this artwork, it's going to be hard for you to see. I'd love to suggest that you please visit our website that's devoted to the sale of this original artwork. The website is heritagesportsart.com and you'll be able to see all this artwork in a lot greater detail if you visited the website. So here we go. Let me try and explain that the artwork. Um, we've got 15 pieces of Tiger's artwork and only 15 pieces. Um, the first is an 1892 uniform, back when they didn't wear a leather helmet, they wore woolen caps. Um, so 1892. For, forgive me, then the next one is a 1903 uniform with a nose guard. Um, the next uniform is from 1913. And a great one from 1929. We had a lot of fun in researching this uh, tiger's head that was used on that uniform. That's a story for another day. Um, but that's the 1929 uniform. Now, we, uh, now this shows a 1932 uniform, and by now, college football teams are beginning to use uniform numbers on the front of their uniforms, and this honors Jimmy Hitchcock, a great Tigers player. Now we're up to 1946. This honors Travis Tidwell. Um, now 1957, and this honors uh, Zeke Smith. 1963 artwork um, honors Jimmy Seidel. 1971 honors the great Pat Sullivan. 1978, and that great uh, you know, uniform, the orange uniform, which has only been worn on a handful of occasions, as you know. This honors Joe Cribbs. Uh, now we're up to 1983, and this artwork is Bo Jackson artwork. Uh, 1993 honors Wayne Gandy. 1997 is Takeo Spikes. Uh, now we're in 2004 and Jason Campbell. 
and then finally 2008 Senderic Marks. Um, so there are 15 great pieces of artwork. Please visit the website to see them in a lot better detail up close and you know in fine detail. My bigger point is that there are hundreds of thousands of Auburn Tigers fans across North America, not only alumni of Auburn, but just Auburn Tigers fans in general, and we've only got 15 pieces of this somewhat famous original watercolor painting artwork. So if there's interest on your part, please move sooner rather than later. Um, and I know I sound like a late night TV sales pitch man selling you Ginsu knives or something. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that, but I am trying to get the point across that there really are only 15 original pieces of art. Now, let me explain the three ways you can actually buy the art. Um, and I'll use the 1929 because I just love this one so much, but we'll use the 1929 artwork as an example. The first way you can buy the artwork is just as you see here in the raw, unframed fashion. You would purchase this, you, you place an order today, we'd ship it to you by UPS. The $350 price tag includes the UPS shipping. Then when you get it in about a week or 10 days time, then you could frame it or mount it however you see fit. So the first way you could buy it is in its raw, unframed state, just as you see here. The second way you could buy it is in what we call our classic framed version. Now this is a Tampa Broncos piece, let's quickly make it a Tigers piece. Um, in this case it's a thin black frame with a double white mat, then the original artwork gets framed, and there's an engraved plate telling the story of the artwork. This is what we call our classic frame version. It's $425. Again, that includes UPS shipping. And if you place the order today, we would then custom frame it for you. So it would take two to three weeks before it arrived at your doorstep. So raw and framed art, classic framed version. The third and final one is a beautiful version as well called our deluxe framed version. Um, and let me just kind of explain this story if you'll just stick with me. This is a thicker black frame, a black mat, the original artwork and a grave plate, and then there will be a, a framed you know, history of the Auburn Tigers uniform. In the case of the Tigers and all our college products, we, instead of a horizontal format poster, it's a slightly more you know, squarish version, so it would look like this. So this frame will be in a slightly different shape. It will be a little bit taller than this to accommodate this sized um, poster showing the evolution of the Tigers uniform. What I, you know, the point that I'd love to make is that in this framed version, you've got your original artwork, in this case the 1929 artwork, and then you can actually look on the frame poster below and see, oh, okay, there's how my artwork was actually used in that product. I think it's just kind of a neat treatment. At any rate, this deluxe framed version is $450. That includes UPS shipping right to your door. And again, it would be custom framed, so if you placed an order today, it would take two to three weeks to arrive at your doorstep. Now, how do you place an order? It's really simple. There's just two ways. The first is, please visit that website that I mentioned earlier, heritagesportsart.com. <clears throat> it's fully e-commerce enabled. You can buy using any major credit card through the PayPal system. Or if somehow you felt uncomfortable doing that or you just wanted to speak to somebody live and in person, then please phone me. You'll get me. My name is Scott. The cell phone number is 416-315-4736. It would be fun to talk to a Tigers fan. I could tell you some of the history and research that went into this project. Uh, I could tell you about working with the artist, you know, etc. I could just, you know, it would be fun to, to tell you any stories that I can about any of the pieces of artwork that you might be interested in buying. So to place an order with a person live, please phone me. My name is Scott. Um, two final points and I'll leave you alone. The first is, if you happen to know another Auburn Tigers fan who you think or, or appreciates great art, would you be nice enough to share this YouTube URL with them? If, if you would, that would be very kind. And secondly, you might recall at the outset that I mentioned that in addition to NCAA college football artwork, we've also got artwork for every NFL team, Major League Baseball team, NHL team, and the website, heritagesportsart.com, shows over 1,500 pieces of beautiful, original artwork, all available for sale. So if somebody's a fan of the Miami Dolphins or the San Francisco Giants or the you know, Ottawa Senators hockey team, we've got some great artwork that's available for sale. So you know, if you could help spread the word and, and the website heritagesportsart.com, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you very much, Auburn Tigers fans. You'd be great to put up with me. I wish you health and happiness, and I wish the Tigers all the best in their upcoming season. Thanks very much for your time. Bye.